What is up? This is Colonial Puppet, and this is part 13 of the Let's Build an Airport series runway slash landing strip. I am in MC Edit right now, not the vanilla game, so uh, you know I'm going to be copying and pasting a bunch of stuff, so I apologize if you are on console or do not have access to any cloning software or in-game mods. Uh, there's going to be quite a bit of building. Uh, specifically, I'm going to be copying the control tower that you see right here. I'm going to select it. Make sure I select everything, including these. I'm not going to select the uh, um, the torches though. Going to copy that. Deselect this. Uh, usually, airports have multiple control towers, so uh, we do have quite a bit of uh, space between that single control tower and also, you know, these kind of further away landing strips. So I was thinking of putting one right in this area right here. This big kind of open grass area. Uh, you can see this is where the one landing strip extends out into the ocean. There's the other hangar we built in a previous episode. So I'm going to get right into it and start filling this area in. So the first thing I'm going to do before I paste the control tower, I'm going to count one, two, three, four, something like that. Then I'm going to uh, Bring this up against the fence, then pull it back in. One, two, three, four on this side. One, two, three, four on that side. I think that's it. So I just want to buffer f four blocks of grass on either s or an off four sides of this uh, rectangle we just selected. Then I'm going to fill it in with stone, just like that. Then I'm going to, uh, actually, I want to keep the grass at four blocks, so I'm just going to select the uh, perimeter of stone and fill that in with double stone slab, just like that. So, again, not encroaching on the grass, just filling in the last block of stone like so nice and then same thing on the short ends just like that gonna save nice then Going, oop, then I'm going to plop down this nice little control tower. Um, let's see how many blocks it takes to get to the other side. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17, so unfortunately an odd number. Um, but that's close to 16, so 8. So I move it eight blocks that way and eight blocks that way. Import it. And uh, for the time being, that is what, uh, that is all the work I needed to do on MC Edit. So I'm going to save this. The chunks kind of reload themselves. And now I'm going to move over to Vanilla Minecraft to uh, do some detail work. I'm going to put in a um, parking lot right here. I forgot to silence my phone. going to get rid of this kind of awkward opening right here. This is where it connected to the terminal. Obviously, don't need that anymore. We also don't need this uh, kind of messed up light that was partially cut off from the paste job I did. So I will see you on Vanilla Minecraft. Okay, we're back in the game. Here is the control tower we just pasted 
here. Uh, and right off the bat, I, I want to get rid of this ugly opening. And by the way, this is the second time I've tried recording this. I tried it yesterday, which was November 1st. But um, it kind of came out morose. And I sounded half asleep. Or I guess more half asleep than usual. Um, because the day before was Halloween. And uh, I drank a lot of alcohol. <laughs> but uh, anyway. So I woke up a little hungover and had quite a mess to clean up at the house. But uh, now I'm feeling a lot better. And I feel up to finishing up this uh, this uh, Let's Build episode. Which, uh, to be honest, um, I think after this, after we kind of square away the second control tower, um, that's the last of the pre-built buildings that I think we're going to be using. Just because... Um, uh, I don't want to overuse, like, I don't want to just keep copy-pasting that the same old hangar and same old control tower. I think after this, uh, we're going to have to start building new buildings to kind of populate the rest of the runway area and all that good stuff. So we have our work cut out for us, but that is okay. So uh, right off the bat, I'm going to actually I'm gonna get rid of this. Also get rid of this, and I'm going to one, two, three, two, three. Extend this out like so. Iron might not be the my building block of choice, but since that's what I used back uh, when this was first built, I'm just gonna continue to roll with it, and I'm gonna continue the pattern of doing. Um, three block wide windows, but basically I'm just going to um, kind of make this like a little kind of entranceway building or portion of the building, just like this. Set zero. I'm going to clear out these windows because they are not needed. I'm going to keep the uh, vertical supports though. That being these two right here. I'm going to select the blue stained glass. Just like that. All right, and now, hmm. Go about three blocks out. So one, two, three, blank, one, two, three, blank, one, two, three, blank. Just like that. Don't know why I said blank. Probably should have said block. Build these up. Just like so. Although I think I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go down to white concrete and fill it in. Like so. Usually just because I feel like this would be a kind of more utilitarian look than just having windows everywhere. I feel like airports tend to go for that for their more kind of um, I guess purpose built structures. <laughs> Same with the hangers. Like this is pushing it kind of ornamentally speaking, I think. I feel like hangers are a lot uglier in uh, real life with no windows on the sides and usually just blank walls everywhere. But uh, I mean, it's nice to have some 
visually pleasing hangers, though the ones that we're going to build after this are probably not going to look nearly as nice. They'll look realistic, but not as nice. Let's see. All right. Same deal, just going to fill this in with concrete. Although I will do this. I'll show you. Going to break out this and then get blue stained glass pane. Fill that in at the top, just like that. Same thing on this side. And another thing I'm going to do is make that and then just kind of make this one block taller. Just like that. Same thing on this side. Oops. Didn't mean to fill that in. And now should be able to so I can't just go three block spaced windows all the way across just because of this weird middle piece would not work. But I can build out. Yeah, like that. Okay. Same thing. Get this out. Build these up. just like that and we're going to do the white concrete again and I'm having trouble placing the blocks all right there we go so i'm going to have the strip of glass pane run across the top like so Then I will fill in, fill in the three block wide gaps with um, white concrete, but I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this kind of big opening, which is where the door is going to be, or at least one of the doors. Something like that. Nice. Um, yeah, I'll do this. Like build this out. Actually, I'll make like a little arch like that, and then build that out two blocks. I'll actually go one more this way. Then polished andesite. Followed by more of that, and then I'll put great carpet on top, just to kind of look like um, some roofing. Nice. Then we'll do iron doors, just because this is probably a restricted access area. Put pressure plates. 
actually. Put buttons on the outside and then pressure plates on the inside. Just like that. End rod. The entrance. And then lighting wise. That's the reason why I built this up an extra block. So we can have one layer dedicated to the lights, which we're going to use stone slab. First, we're going to run a perimeter. Actually, I'm going to do this. So I'm going to use a pattern. I, I think I've used this before on a lot of things, but um, I'll show you what I mean in a second. So one block, three blocks, then we're going to do another three blocks and then another one block. Like so. And the gaps is where we're going to place the... Um, gaps are where we're going to place the sea lantern but um, we need to space them out in a specific way so I'm gonna fill this in and I feel like It's funny, I uh, threw out the uh, first attempt at recording this for being too kind of morose, but I feel like this one is just as quiet, although I feel like it's just because this is a more kind of involved build. Like, I don't really have a plan, per se. I'm just kind of winging it. Um, but, I mean, I think it's looking good definitely work look worse so we have this three block cap in the center I'm just gonna extend these an extra block making them four blocks then we're going to find sea lantern and fill in these holes Just like that. And then I'm going to put stone on here. We're not going to fill this in with stone, but I'm going to put stone here just to make it easier to use. World edit. So select my first point, then my second point. And I think it's set 252. No. Set 252. Eight. Getting close. There it is, 252.7, also known as gray concrete powder. I don't know, it makes a convincing ceiling or roof like tar, I guess you could say. Um, next, going to start adding details. First of which being um, some fencing. So I'm going to put a fence post. front of this it's how many blocks away three blocks one two three just like that It's only going to be two blocks tall, as opposed to the three blocks tall over there. Something like that. 
then you're going to go in select you set grass same thing here just like that then going to do the same thing just like that I didn't mean to fill this part in so there's going to be another doorway right there before I do that I'm going to fill this in with grass so I'm just kind of making this nice little grass area We'll put another fence thing right here. Third one like that. Before we work on the entrance, I'll finish the fence. Alrighty. Nice. That definitely looks like it belongs. <laughs> I like that. Alright, so now we're going to put in again more iron doors. Boom, boom, boom. Pressure plates. And put a lever in. Actually, let's keep it consistent. Let's put three buttons. Okay, and now we just need to make this into an entranceway. Actually, we'll do this. We'll be fancy. We'll take quartz uh, stairs. Build it along the top. And again, we'll have, we'll have pressure plates as well. Just because if you already got in here, you probably wouldn't need to press a button again. That would just kind of be redundant. So there you go. Nice little front and back entranceway. Next, we're going to add more details including some just like general outdoor heating or air conditioning units let's take some iron connect these then i like to take rail this is kind of like an overdone little detail but it's overdone for a reason it looks nice just little circles just like that. Got yourself a convincing little thing. Uh, bone meal. I can't type. Bone meal. There we go. Ooh, new recipes unlocked. Nice. If you just go around like that, you can fill in this, give it some detail. And. Uh, you can also put in a tree, if you so please, something like that. So there you go. Nice little uh, second control tower. Um, Going to want to put in some lighting as well. So, to do that, I'm going to be using some white concrete. Two, three, four. I'm only going to build one because uh, we're going to go back 
into MC Edit and uh, clone them. But yeah, so four blocks of white concrete, nether brick fence. One, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight. Then block of iron. Whoops. Then going to use where is it? Oh wait, no, we're not. We're gonna use an anvil. Just because it looks cooler. Then I'm going to build up with the iron. Grab a stone slab. Build that. Three blocks. Then sea lantern. So there's a nice looking little light that we are going to put a pin in for a second and move on to building the um, parking lot. So this is going to be interesting. So I'm going to space out one, two, three, one, two, three. Think that'll work. One, two, three, four. I think three by four blocks. I used to do three by five blocks, but I feel like that's a little bit oversized for a parking space. Even this is a little wide, but we'll roll with it for now. Um, then I'm going to Set to fifty one seven. Fill this in with gray concrete. I feel like there needs to be in second options music let's make it 20 percent master volume 40 there we go I feel like there needs to be music So I need to turn that down. <laughs> One, two, three, four. It's gonna make the lane four blocks wide. Just like that. Then I'm going to kind of make a actually can replace this last one with that. Make a diagonal and then see how I can make that look better. If I do this. This will make sense in time. Or will it? Eh, probably not, but 
here we'll keep rolling with it uh, for now I'm going to move on to the opposite side so I'm just gonna mirror this Keep getting rid of my one max. There we go. And I have my I have my microphone like right over my keyboard, so it's kind of it's kind of awkward to do the key commands. There we go. Select this. Set that. Oh no. Did not want that. Just wanted that. There we go. to do a curved road probably gonna fail but it's worth a shot I could probably look up the circle thing but I think I can eyeball it Just start by making a diagonal like that. And then start kind of carving away. And honestly, the diagonal, diagonal does not look bad. Something like that. Then fill this in. Two, three, four. Actually, we're going to. Uh, stop right there and move over to um actually before we do that i'm going to do this okay so this is what we have so far i'm going to switch back over to uh mc edit and uh kind of go forward with the placement of the lights we built as well as uh, completing the um, the parking lot that we've started on so I will see you over on MC edit okay I am back in MC edit and it's a little hard to kind of distinguish what it is we are uh, copying over because this was uh, released before the concrete block was added to the game so it just shows up as purple but uh, do not fret uh, it will still allow us to manipulate it and copy it and paste it and everything we need to do with it so that's good so going to copy it and paste it and then I'm going to hit G to mirror it and place it down just like that how about that wow 
truly amazing. So import, deselect, and then we're going to select this, copy it, paste it, bring it down to street level, import, deselect, and there you go. Got a nice little uh, kind of roundabout. So they can enter in here and come back out this way or vice versa. However, there is going to be one designated entrance and one designated exit. It's going to be a one-way road, no two-way stuff, just one way. Uh, however, we are going to fill this in with grass. Probably be a little bit faster to do it in game, but when in Rome, just like that. Nice. Uh, same thing over here. Actually, I can probably do this. Copy, paste, mirror that. Just make sure, I think that's, yeah, that looks about right. Import, there you go. Just need to fill this in with double. There you go. Cool. Um, then I'm going to copy you, paste it here, paste it here. I'm going to place one here. I'm not going to paste it yet. I'm going to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, twenty-five, six, seven, twenty eight. Um so that is divided by four, that's seven. Um can't divide it by three. I'll just, from the ends, I'll do this. I'll do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We'll just do 3. Just like that. It's not exactly the center, I think, because it's an even number. But from, to the naked eye, it looks like it is. Um, so I got that. paste another one at the other end like so and then one at the center like right at the center of the doorway just like that then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select these outer lights we're actually going to delete them so that they are only pointing that way because we don't need lights over here just need them over the walkway all right uh, i'm also going to uh, copy this segment of fence and we are going to run it along here starting there and then running along here so import import just so you know cars aren't driving onto the runway itself we would not want that then i'm going to copy 
I'm eyeballing it. I'm going to take a chance. Perfect. So we're just going to have that morph into this um, fence right there. So nice. Um, then I'm going to do the same thing, but coming from here. Again, going to eyeball it, I think four blocks. Yes. Delete those. Take this. And again, this isn't, this is kind of like a buffer zone. The actual runway is from here to here. So we don't have to worry about a plane like coming up here and running into the fence. Unless it has a super long wingspan, which um, even then it's it's kind of a low profile. So I don't think we're going to have to worry about that. I feel like that would be the least of our worries. do this gonna delete this one copy that single segment there we go just like that then I'm going to select one pole and the fence itself paste it copy paste just like that then eyeballing it again i think that'll do it nope one less copy paste There we go. Nice and uh, walled off. I'm going to save that. 35 saves. Now we're going to. Um, well, actually, I'm going to do this. I'm going to copy this again. I'm going to put one. Here, whoa, whoa, there we go. Gonna line it up with this one, put it on this, mirror it, and then import it. Just like that. Copy it, paste it again. This time, line it up with this one. And then you get the idea, we'll do the center one as well. Nice. Then I'm going to take this and we count one, two, three, four, just like that. From the uh, double stone slab, find us a grass block, fill. Same thing here. Nice. So, not too shabby. We got a nice little uh, kind of area for our second um, control tower. We're not done yet. Uh, I'm going to jump back into vanilla Minecraft to add the finishing little touches here and there, uh, some extra last minute details. Uh, we'll kind of fill this in. Actually, we can do that now. We'll fill in anywhere where there's a floor with a more, I guess, floor-friendly 
um, block. You could do like polished diorite. I know people hate polished diorite for some reason, but I like it. It's it's such a versatile block. Works for like interior walls and uh, grounds. Looks really nice in lobbies. There we go. It just has a nice tile look to it. Save that. Don't need these anymore. I can delete all this. But, um, okay. So I will see you in Vanilla Minecraft. Okay, we are back in Vanilla Minecraft. I've taken a sip of La Croix, so my voice shouldn't sound as dry as it was. I realized it was sounding a bit dry, so hopefully that will fix that problem. Um, but anyway, I'm going to do this. Uh, by the way, we are um, just doing last minute details before ending this episode because uh, we're nearly there. There we go. That looks nice. That looks better, I think, in my humble opinion. Um, yeah. So next, what we're going to do is we're going to go around with bone, bone meal, uh, and fill in any of this kind of perimeter grass. Since we've fully enclosed this in fence, it's a lot easier to, you know, do this portion of the uh, let's build. Instead of like having to do the entire thing, we're just going to do it bit by bit. Forget this area. So there we go. Uh, also, we're going to do this. We're going to take some... Where is it? Light gray concrete powder. We're going to basically build a nice little uh, entranceway to here. Just like that. And I know this is kind of in the way, but we'll just build around it like so. Nice. Just got that. Um, okay, now we're going to take some oak leaves. Kind of want to just build a nice little fern. You could say one, two, three, one, two, three. Take some, I don't know, large fern. Build it right there. That looks nice. Do the same thing here. Up against these. Can also add some outdoor lighting. So obviously we probably want some right here. Probably also want some. I will wait on that actually. Actually, I don't even think we want any there. So, uh, next we're going to take oak saplings. I'll plant a tree here. Here, centering it up with the things. We'll leave a space there. We'll put one there. Should be in a straight line. Then we're going to take our bone meal again because I got rid of it because I'm dumb and I suck at keeping track of my inventory. Got to feed that. I'm done with building trees, now I just grow them. I like the uh, spontaneous and unpredictable nature of just growing trees rather than building them. It counts for my lack of creativity, or it makes up for my lack of creativity in, in varying my trees. So instead of getting cookie cutter trees, we get variation, which is always pretty. Always nice to look at. All right. So yeah, this is looking pretty uh, pretty legit. Um, I will also do this. We can um, 
you know, add some extra flourishes here and there. One, two, three, one, two, three. I keep forgetting I turned on uh, the music, so that kind of freaked me out. I didn't know what that noise was coming from. There it is, the bass drops. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, something like that. Essentially the same thing. On this side at least. You can really uh, go hog wild. Oof, my voice is cracked. Go hog wild with these uh, details. Don't have to do exactly what I'm doing. Give it your own flair. Really just kind of experiment. If you know any interesting like little details uh, that I don't know about, there's always some interesting things people come up with. But uh, I think that looks nice. I like that. Um, I'm going to add some additional stuff up here on the roof including probably going to use this some iron bars um, I think that's it for now oh redstone torch Make some communications makes sense given this is a you know control tower and also do some kind of low profile um, HVAC stuff just let your imagination run free some lights up here and there you go. Just gonna do a fly around. Oh yeah, we can do this. Really just considering all of the last minute little details we can add to this nice little area we've built. Some barriers. like that with the nice little entrance way I think that's it so yeah this has been a very um, productive episode made a nice little uh, control tower area look at that it sticks out like a sore thumb just how detailed it is compared to everything else but hey uh, we'll get there why did I use lime green what was I smoking anyway uh, this has been Colonial Puppet. Be sure to check out the next episodes if you'd like to follow along or the previous episodes. Wait a minute. Be sure to check out the next... That's like the first time I've messed up my outro in like years. Be sure to check out the next episode when it comes out or the previous episodes if you'd like to follow along. There it is. And other than that, this has been Colonial Puppet. Hope you've been enjoying this Let's Build thus far. Have a nice day.